come here tonight to celebrate nine years of any and any government. We come to celebrate nine years of good government. We come to celebrate nine years of a government that has delivered for you. And that says that Vincent ends up to stand up and be counted in the international arena. This is not an easy achievement, you know. It's not easy for a government to take 20,000 people out of extreme poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's not easy for a government to say that 6,000 students but have right to secondary school education in St. Vincent. It's not easy for a government to say that thousands of Vincentians must have access to university education. This government has already left an indelible mark on the history of politics in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And it has plenty of work left to do. Before, we had a government that if people couldn't read and write, people could laugh after you. This government teaches you to read and write. We had a government that thought that Vincentians weren't bright enough to do very simple things. And then there was a change, and we realized that all Vincentians needed was an opportunity to get things done. We celebrate today because St. Vincent and the Grenadines has moved closer to equality. Equality of opportunity for children who are born disadvantaged. Equality of access to secondary school. And there's a fair distribution of wealth in St. Vincent. That is an important stride that we have made in the past nine years of ULP government in St. Vincent. There was a time when things were different, comrades. There was a time when it had a government that didn't teach you to fish and didn't even give you a fish every day. You had a government that say that it's the individual that is important, not concerned about the collective will of intentions. You had a government that pretended to be interested in your well-being, but the policies that they implemented had nothing to do with taking St. Vincent and the Grenadines forward. One time, there was a man who said that the principles of our parliament should be that they enact no law that they could not accept when they were out of power. However, they managed to produce the greedy bill which people found indigestible. We had a government that said they must be fair in the distribution of wealth in the villages. And a government that said we should consolidate the impact of land reform among the poor. When what they did really was to consolidate the stranglehold that a select few of people in St. Vincent had on property here. In the past nine years, all that has changed.